Hello, peoples. I'm back and I'm continuing where I left off just for me a moment ago. I was filling in the bits under the table here in my little uh, maker's tree shack, I guess. I did this bit and this bit next time and I think there should still be some extra uh, stuff in there. So I'm just uh, continuing drawing weird shapes and hope you like it. One moment, I'm gonna check uh, my recording and my levels for a moment. That seems fine. So I was thinking maybe if I was... Oh wait, did I already group all this? Yeah, I did group all this. If I was working over here, you know, I would, and I was sitting on this stool here in front of this table, I would probably want to have a bit of protection for my feet here from things like this. So I imagine there could be like a little rug over here. Let's see how that will look if we model it. So I'm just first modeling the edge here. Okay, the, I'm thinking of details already. I should really first rough out uh, the big shape. Mm -hmm. Just seeing what happens if there's like a shape here. Oh, huge leg spike. Are you still with me? Because VR isn't moving for me right now. Let's just... Oh, and we're back. I think that's a memory issue. I don't have too much memory in uh, my system. Just, uh, I think, 8 gigs. And I've noticed that when Blocks is running for a while, it kind of eats up a lot. And sometimes I just reboot blocks and things are fine so I'm just removing this edge so that I can uh, extrude this bit and now I'm rethinking myself I don't want to extrude a bit I want to move it for which I didn't have to remove the edge but well it's gone it's so sad I will just put it back there we go. Because shape like this, I can just use the loop cuts like this and model from there. Let's just try and see if we can make this feel like a bit of uh, cloth, so to say, like an, a rug just by shaping it like it's been dropped there laying there for a while getting all uh, pushed about and stuff by uh, the feet that are resting on top of it yeah I'm not entirely convinced yet Let's see what happens if we move it outside of there a bit more. Which is an odd choice to make, modeling wise. Yeah, let's undo that. Hmm. Okay, I'll just uh, continue first and then doubt myself afterwards instead of doubt first and continue afterwards because that leads nowhere usually just let's try and get some weird ass shape into here oh, I'm getting a uh, nasty leg spikes here maybe I need to reboot blocks a moment at a certain moment it gets a bit unworkable on everything you do 
That's probably because the uh, un undo buffer gets filled in with your uh, machinations. Um, whatever. But let's first try and continue. So, a bit. I was thinking maybe if this uh, stool gets pushed into the little bit of carpet over here continually, then it might push it back a little. Oh, laggy, laggy, laggy. Come on. Work with me, please. Like so. I'm just regarding the uh, weird triangulation happening uh, over there. Which I can probably fix with a well placed uh, helping cut over here and one over here, maybe. Mm -hmm. Oh, leg spike. Okay, guys, I'm uh, gonna have a quick break and reboot blocks for you and for me because this is a bit hopeless. This takes forever. And we're back. Still loading, loading, loading. Never forget to enable the lab options here. And now the joyful task of finding where the frig is the scene. I was working on it. It seems it's over here. Okay. Excuse me. Okay. We were working on the little bit of rug over here so it got messed up because uh, the guy living here keeps pushing into it with his tool it's the idea what was that oh just another stupid error let me oh it's gone okay just uh if i look like this i'm uh, peeking uh, along my nose at my monitor don't get startled Yes, oh, come on, I want to move you as a group, perhaps, that doesn't really work very nicely. Uh, not entirely convinced yet, but I like what happens there in the shading, it feels kind of like that there's a little uh, fold in the rug there, where the Stool has been uh, brushing up against it uh, forever. So let me model that out a little. And you know what? I'm going to be fancy and try and draw another fold over here. Let's combine these points. So, mm -hmm. yeah, I think that works. Let's make sure that the triangulation uses that edge and maybe, no, let's use this one here. And which, let me see what happens if I, It like this yeah I'm fairly sure now that it's kind of works I will add a helping cut in this phase over here and over here I'm sure you have no idea where I am right now or what I'm doing just cleaning up the mesh a little on the bottom so that the triangulation uh, errors that will undoubtedly happen will uh, mess and peek through the mesh that is as it is and stuff. Okay, so there's the, the little rug. Yeah, I think actually, and I know this is taking forever, but I think this bit here should be a bit subtler. It's very obvious. 
let someone model that, which we can't have. So let's try and see what happens if we make it a bit subtler. Yes. Well, honestly, that's enough time spent on the rug. I'm thinking now it would be to add to the suggestion that the person uh, working here has laid that down to, um, you know, warm his feet or something. It could be a nice thing if I use the boots I have elsewhere in my scene. And, oh. And place those over here just to you know make a connection between that thing and the feet and actually bare feet that could be nice so i'm just placing these here as a reminder of myself because obviously these are not good boots but if i see these when i'm uh, uh how do you call it processing the scene later i will re remember i hope but I was meant to put boots over here. Okay, let's do it like that. And let's uh, group them up. Okay, so now there's still a gap over here, but I think let's not be too difficult about that. Let's just fill that up with bits of wood. As you do with gaps under your working table. And these could be like bits of wood that were part of a project that never got finished. So there's some other wood, bits of wood screwed onto it. Should be good, should be good. Let's make this into a sharp thing just to save on poly count as well. Look at me saving poly count here. So precious. Uh-huh, I like. And actually, I'm already seeing like a garden hose over there. I don't know why. I think as we're having too few Bits of gardening hose in our world. Let's see if that looks any good. And I'm gonna taper it off here. And start a new bit. This is what I do for uh, long snaky uh, shapes lately. So I just draw out the shape with a brush tool. And to prevent, because it's what often happens is that you oh you lay down a shape like this, and then oh that looks all very nice, and then you make tiny stupid errors here, and then you have to do it all over again, just to prevent that. As soon as I have a segment that looks kind of okay, I tend to taper it off and start from here a new section. And then um, and we'll uh, uh, fix up that joint later. Not that we really can't, can connect it up or something, but we can always uh, plaster it shut with some well-placed cello tape. Okay, let's do a taper here as well. Hmm, it's a bit stupid because then you have two of these edges close together, but we'll see what happens. And we ended off with like a loose bit over here. Yeah, I don't like that one at all. And that's because it looks like it was very purposefully 
drawn to be like a uh, snail's house. Slug's house? Snail's house? I think snails are the one with houses, right? And slugs are the one without. So we'll throw this one away and throw this one away. And reconsider what the frick we're doing. Maybe it's just a bad idea. Maybe I shouldn't even try something with pieces of garden hose. Okay, let's taper this one off here. And then start another one over here. There, how does that look? Yeah, better. I don't really like it. I also think I did this bit. It's too wide. So let's redo that. Uh, so I think, I believe I'm doing it uh, just as wide as the last bit I just threw away. But maybe if the shape is better, then we can get away with it. Yeah, that actually looks, looks some better. I'm not really sure about it, yeah. But I guess we'll just keep it for now. Can always remove it. Okay, to fix up the joints, because if you're uh, brushing and go to the tiniest shape you can be, it's still not a point yet. So I usually go by the ends and just snap the points together so that it saves on invisible pulleys. So I'm gonna dive into the snake here. Hope you can follow what I'm doing, but it's not that important really and just weld the ends together and there that also means that you can use one single point to kind of uh, make the seam a bit nicer it will never be a fully nice seam but as you can see you can barely see that there's a seam there and i think here was another one yes so we fix that and we have one behind this polygon here straight up against my nose uh, there this one is a bit uh, wrong really let's do one cut over there and then use this one and this one oh you know what extra cut over here and use this one somewhat closer together yes that's better no one will ever know well unless they view this video obviously but no one views these videos so what let's not worry about this just suggestive bit of Metal at that side. Let's also, as I said, use some judiciously placed cello tape here to fix up. Oh, excuse me. The hole in the holes there. And I. This is kind of like my uh, cello tape formula. Just these three shapes like those. Just give enough of a suggestion of that it's been taped shut. I think at least. And because I'm hopeless, I'm going to put another piece over here in another color. And always thinking about the profile. I'll 
and with elements like this it's very easy to be aware of the profile because you obviously know that when if people see it they will always be seeing it from this side so i won't place it like this because that won't be no use no one will see it but like this it just oh excuse me kind of sells the idea of this being taped up and me spending an inordinate amount of time creating that suggestion just because I like it. There we go. Okay. There could be... Let's just uh, group this stuff up first. Like that. So... And this and this and this. And I think I will combine it with the plate in the back. Yes, it's a clean group. And... I think there's a few rods of metal sticking out from this corner. Those are a bit too um, too thick. That should work. Okay. This one is too obviously sticking through the rug, so let's place the rug over here. And place one more rod. And let's put that over here. And these are like, in my imagination at least, these are like screw threads. So let's tell the people, the good people, the good visitors, how much these are screw threads by just putting on these wing nuts. Okay, that's not obvious at all. That's because they're a bit big. Does that look like wing nuts? I think it kind of does. The placement is wrong. Oh. I, oh, I grouped it with the rods. That should not have happened. There. So... I want this to be over here to be better readable. Okay, no one will ever look over here, but I'm going to place them anyway. Just because I can't help it. Details like that, they just... I don't know if it works for my visitors, but they just like sell the place for me just chaos like that you don't know what it is i know it's too thick because i'm imagining it's like just a piece of twine or something being discarded in this corner here yes I, I like it. Let me create a little group out of these parts. There we go. Clean as a whistle. Excuse me. And now that I'm looking here, the thing I'm really missing is like a bottle of bleach. So there should be a big bottle of bleach over here. And where I come from, bottles of bleach are shaped like uh, this, and then they fan out a little. And let's. I'm really overdoing the uh, complexness of the shape of this bottle. But e who's stopping me? Mm -hmm. 
let's see because this is it's way oh, excuse me it's way too high and slender for a bottle of bleach that should go like so now it's a bottle of bleach it's a bit small but we'll get there and it's just rounding off the foot i guess Really, Nam? Is this all necessary? No, 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 it isn't, but it's so much fun to do. It's a bit tiny. Yeah, that could be a bottle of bleach. Okay, cap it off. Like, nice big cap. I'm gonna fill in the neck as well so that you don't see through it. Yes, cool. And I'm really hoping that people are gonna come in here. Oh, get the neck as well. And seeing that yellow and red shape over there and thinking that's a bit they can interact with. This is all chaos. And then they go crawl over the floor to get to the bottle of bleach and then it's uninteractable that's what we're aiming for here uh, let's use white here uh, let's use gray here uh, let's use anything here first let's make the uh, we call it an AT get in in the Netherlands like you know a label I guess it's a link it's called a label yes there do the writing and kind of like the usual way uh, let me think yeah let's do it like this try to select the face here And same over here. That should look like writing. And some more over here. It really isn't that important, but hmm. Actually, I think it uh, distracts a little. And maybe that's because of the shading right now. So let's minimize it. That's okay. One bottle of bleach. And now I have the urge to model another bottle over here. And this one, it's like one with lamp oil or what's it called? Something petrochemical at least. I'm just actually really what I'm now modeling is the stuff I have in my own sink cupboard <laughs> here. So you know, you know where it's coming from. Not that I'm thinking about that, but I think that's uh, where I'm, why my mind is uh, filling this in like it is. Oh, that should do it. 
nasty stuff. Yes. Uh, I'm not really convinced of the blue, though. Maybe that's better. Maybe I just used the, the ugly. I rarely use this purple color. Oh, I use it on the rug, but the rug can go. No, the rug can absolutely not go green. This can't work either. Oh, I like like this for the rug. Maybe this for the bottle. Maybe this for the rug. I'm, I'm afraid we're stuck with blue here for now. Maybe just for the contrast, I think. I group it up. So there, this bottle is over here. This bottle is over here, and you know what? We have an, an extra bottle of this stuff. The funny thing is, I think, I hope at least, that groupings like this also communicates to the visitor that this is not interactable because it's close together it's more of like you know it it, it feels more like set dressing to me if it's it's grouped in a little cluster like this i don't know if, it, if that's really as obvious to people as it's as I think it is, but that's one of the rules I uh, try to live by. That oh, stuff that's clustered like this uh, should not be interactable and should read as non-interactable. And then there's like a little bit of, I don't know what, sticking out from under it. Grounding it a little to the floor. Yes, that looks good. So, okay, I'm uh, kind of liking this. Give me a moment to check on the time and how long we're busy already. Hmm, hmm, only half an hour, and I made all this. Shall we eat? I'll uh, do some extra little stuff, just because I'm only modeling for half an hour now. I shouldn't do too much. Hmm, but I'm not sure what next. I also hope that my voice isn't too soft in this one. I threw away a video a couple of months ago. The last time I went modeling and mumbling over it, and I was so soft, and the uh, microphone kept gating out on me and just cutting away most of my speech because I was whispering. I hope that's okay now. I should really try to uh, talk a bit louder, just so... The recording won't fail. Hmm, so what else? The boots, I will uh, just use the ones that I have already uh, in the world. This looks filled up enough. I guess I could do a few small things. Like in the rest of the uh, set dressing. Oh, let me save, let me save, yes. There we go. In the rest of the set dressing, there's like a plastic bag here, over here, with lots of, well, a few, not really a lot, but a few pipes and bits of carton and stuff. So I was thinking maybe doing stuff like that, piping over there, but then it will be too much of a repetition of what's happening in the bag there. So I don't think that will work. Hmm. Hmm. Okay, I know something. Uh, the shoes will have to be moved over here. And I'm imagining that there's like a few shoe boxes filled with junk over here. 
or maybe like those little plastic uh, clutter boxes I don't know how you would call them but you know the little plastic crates that you can stuff with uh, all kinds of things usually to get it out of the way but maybe there's like parts of machinery and stuff let's see okay so the bottom one will be just a shoebox oh i want to have the edges please thank you And I'm actually kind of stupid now. Because like the bottom box here, I also already modeled the inside. So it should not really be the bottom box because it won't be visible. If it's just a bottom box. So let's uh, move that over there. Make another box type thing here and uh, let's try and sell this one as one of those plastic boxes I'm not sure how but they are often kind of like a bit tapered yeah and this one has a nice and blue lid and that's shut I like this let me see if I can yes I can just select the edges here oh fix it up over here yeah that looks good that's like a crate with uh, spare parts and let's give it a few of those clips I guess and there and there that should sell the idea mm -hmm. good good groupy 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 let's make the insides of this box nice and dark never fully black obviously like this and then we'll put in some suggestion the suggestion of uh, parts being stored in here just some things that can stick out a little And then we can just fill up the back with a big shape. And let's have something to catch your eye here as well. Just not something that will make you wonder if you can take it. Uh, just some contrasting colors, I guess. Loudness, come on, talk louder, man. yeah okay now i'm looking at this and i'm feeling very much the urge to as a as a visitor so to say to pick up the lid and see what's inside the box just to um communicate that that isn't what you're supposed to do here and i'm gonna put some uh equipment on top of it i guess like another box 
and this box can be like taped shut oh this is hard is this the good no i need one color darker okay so here this one has tape which you can't remove mm -hmm. Yeah, could be good work. Oh, leg spike during during modeling is always a bit scary. Um, so we're calling this another little booklet. They're, they're like booklets of this shape all over the place in uh, a podu now. I'm not sure what they're all about. Um, but they're nice filler material. They look like, to me at least, like manuals from a forgotten age. And not from, you know, prehistory or something, but just like from the 70s or 60s. Cheaply printed stuff. <laughs> that again now looks like something you can grab. So we're gonna work against that by putting something nondescript on top of it. This is all just set dressing people. No need to try and take it. And then we'll do another box here and I'm snapping to the floor and I guess yeah this shouldn't really be another one of these boxes because then it would look too organized to my taste so let's make another one I'm not sure what this is, but I, I think this might just be uh, enough for the bottom shape. Oh, uh, wait a moment. Let's just do it like so. Embed it into the surface, then take these two. Do it like so. That's another box, and it's on the floor, and the top isn't good. So we're just gonna group the stuff over here. Clean, and move it down so it rests on top of it, like so. Yes, maybe it's sunk in too much over here, but I like that it's just slightly at an angle here. It's maybe, yeah, this should work. Yeah, that's good. And obviously, if you have like a little shelf over here, you are gonna need a roll of industrial tape. I don't know what makes this tape so incredibly industrial. I think it's the color. Come on, stick through, thank you. And it's taped, so it should have dark insides, and we're just gonna fake that. 
with a dish shape. Oh, um, just a bit bigger. Nope. Uh, yes. Sorry. You know, but because it's a bit hard in blocks to do, like uh, torus shapes, uh, shapes with holes in the middle. I usually just do like toilet rolls and stuff and rolls of tape i do like this just hoping that the darkness is enough to sell the idea of it actually being hollow and i think it does really to me it does at least so not that that's the uh, most important part of it but well I'm also doing this for myself, obviously. Let's see if we can make like a sticky tapey, sticky outy bit here. Yes, we can. So that's now part of it. Oh. That's not a clean group. Now it is a clean group, yes. Okay. It's a bit much of a white thing, I think. So let's make this one gray. Oh, I want the whole object to be gray, yes. And maybe use like... Uh, oh yeah, I made the insides dark here, so just go like this and because now it looks like an old carbon box i'm gonna put like a dirty corner on it so grimy Ah, uh, there. So. Uh, mm -hmm. Trying to make the shape so that it's obvious that this is supposed to be like grime and i usually do that by just adding a few extra splotches like this i love my splotches i'm not sure i don't think this really looks very grimy it more looks like some some design that's printed on we can't have that so let's see if i can uh, increase the grime how about this it's also a color thing i guess how would yellow be Turn it yellow this bit, this bit, and this bit. Just a bit less contrast. Nope, not good. Uh, gray. No, I think the brown was good. But I will need to. Oops, oops. Decrease the contrast in in post because I'm not buying it yet. Yet, it's not to me. It's not feeling like dirt. It's more still feeling like a design that's printed on. Oh well, it's not really that important. It's just a bit of fanciness. We'll we'll come across it. When it's in the world and if we still think 
it's ugly we can just remove it cool i think this is it now so we have this bit of the shed fully modeled out we now have everything here below the uh the table modeled out the things that are left to do but i still need to think about a solution that i maybe i can use elsewhere is like cupboards of stuff over here and maybe some other furniture maybe something over here on, on the wall that i can reuse because with this side so filled up this side will feel very very uh empty so i'm uh, gonna process this stuff i will not do that on camera i think <clears throat> because it's a bit boring um yeah that's something i could walk through tell me if you'd like to if i walk through it in uh how i implement it into unity because the mesh processing is not really that interesting it's just placing pivots and here and there modeling some uh collider geometry and it's only interesting once it gets into unity and I place it around and take care of the lighting and collisions and even that is just kind of like routine work so let me know if you'd like to see another one of that and but for now this was just a modeling part and hope you enjoyed and hope you agree with all my little tiny decisions here and I'll see you in the next one we'll see bye bye